Hello, it's Mrs. Zach and Tundi here and today we're going to do some phonics. The sound we're focusing on today is the digraph er. Uh. The U and the R come together to make one sound er. Uh. Can you think of any words that has the er uh sound in? Burger Curl Birth Surf Can you think of any more words? Now we're going to read some words. First, we're going to segment those the words into their individual sounds and then we'll blend those sounds together to make a word. Can you join in with me? Uh, fur, b, burn, burn. I've got a burn on my arm from where I put it too close to the flame. Urn, urn. An urn is a container in which we put some ashes. B up, burp. Curl, curl. I've got a curl in my hair. H hurt, hurt. S earth, surf. I ride a surfboard into the waves. T turn, turn. Can you turn around? Turnip. Turnip. A turnip is a vegetable that grows in the ground. Kurdish. Kurdish. Kurdish is a language spoken by lots of pupils in our school. Now here's a question, and I know it's a question because there's a question mark at the end. Can you find the two words that contain the digraph er? Uh? Well done. Right, let's read the sentence all together. Point at the start of the sentence. K an can a turn it turnip surf surf. Can a turnip surf? Now this is an exclamation. I know it's an exclamation because at the end we have the exclamation mark. Can you find the word that contains the digraph er? Uh, well done. All right, let's read the sentence. Let's start, point at the first word, which is a tricky word. It's a word we should just know. And it says, she. She did a big burp. burp. She did a big burp. Hello. We're going to write a sentence today with the digraph er. Uh. The er. Uh is made up of the U and R, which come together to make the er uh sound, like in fur, burn, urn, curl, hurt. Okay, the sentence we're going to write today is, I burnt my arm and it hurt. So that's seven words. Let's say that one more time. I burnt my arm and it hurt. Can you repeat that sentence? Right, you might want to pause the video and have a go at writing the sentence yourself before we write it all together. Okay, have you had a go at writing your sentence? All right, let's have a go, let's write it all together. Let's just remind ourselves of what the sentence is. I burnt my arm and it hurt. The first word is I. This is a tricky word and it's a word we just need to know. And it's written as a capital wherever it is in the sentence, okay? I burnt. Burnt has the er uh sound digraph in. So I'm going to make sure we've got a finger space and I'm going to use our sound boxes to ensure that we've heard that we include all the sounds. Burnt. Right. How many sounds? But er uh, We've got four sounds. And that line helps us to identify where the er uh sound our digraph goes. B, uh, n, t. So what's the first sound? B, brilliant. B, uh. Now we know how to write the er uh digraph, U and R. B, uh, n. B, uh, n, t. Can you hear that last sound? What is it? It's a t. Excellent. Now let's just check. B, uh, n, t. Burnt. I burnt my, my is a tricky word, M-Y, 
word we just need to know. I burnt my arm. Now I'm going to use the sound boxes for arm because that R sound is a relatively new one. We've looked at it recently. Arm, two boxes, two sounds, arm. Now, can we remember how to write that R digraph? That's it. A, R. R, M, arm. I burnt my arm and, and, and it hurt, hurt. We use a er digraph. And how many sounds is there in hurt? Hurt, hurt. Three sounds. I'm going to put our sound buttons in to help us identify where the digraph goes. What's the first sound in hurt? Huh, uh. Uh is our digraph, you are. Huh, uh. Hurt. I burnt my arm and it hurt. Excellent. And what punctuation do we need at the end of our sentence? That's it. We need a full stop. Now let's read our sentence one more time, putting all the words together so it sounds fluent. I burnt my arm and it hurt. Well done. Can you think of any other sentences you can write using er uh words, words with the er uh digraph in? All right, bye.